Hey, what's going on team? I uh, wanted to do a quick little recap on my overall day. So I traded UWT and DWT, which are overall crude oil inverse ETFs of one another. I uh, closed a total of $1,600, uh, so $1,649.45. Uh, these were my total orders. So I took my first trade at 7.03 a.m. as you guys can see here. And then I took my last trade here at 9.09. Uh, AM and again that's specific standard time for all those that are in the Arizona area So I wanted to do a quick little explanation on exactly why I have such a huge focus Trading ETFs and ETNs such as DWT, UGAS, UWT, and DGAS. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, what's going on team? My name is Ricky. I'm 24 years old. I'm based here in the Arizona area. And I wanted to do a quick little explanation on why I have such a huge focus at trading ETFs. If you're familiar with my YouTube channel, I run the largest YouTube channel for those who day trade in the stock market. I have a little bit over 615,000 subscribers. And I day trade every single day with the Learn Plan Profit group they get to watch me trade live every day and uh, there's no question that if you've seen me trade for like the, really the past two years uh, I have a huge huge focus on ETFs and I wanted to make a simple video explaining why uh, and why it's so important to find your niche I am in no way promoting ETFs I know that it's not for everyone uh, but I really hope that once you complete and watch this entire video uh, you're one step closer to finding your niche and again better off being self-sufficient so uh, let's go ahead and get started so I wanted to talk a little bit about why I find trading ETFs so attractive. Uh, I don't actually trade futures themselves, but you guys probably have seen me talk about like forward slash CL, which is a crude oil future. You've heard me talk about forward slash NG, which is a natural gas future, and how that has a correlation on over to the correlating ETFs, right? So when natural gas forward slash NG goes up, then UGAS follows, that's U-G-A-Z, right? But then there's an inverse ETF that does exactly the opposite, which is DGAS, right, for UGAS, and it does the exact opposite of whatever UGAS does. Uh, I just, because of like how I'm wired and because of like how I just began to approach trading these ETFs and ETNs, uh, I began to find these just so, so attractive. It made it so easy for me that, you know, there's always one that's gonna be trending up or trending down, and uh, it's just much easier for me to pay attention to the future. I have much more data to analyze when it comes down to the overall patterns. If you guys are not familiar with overall futures, uh, they trade 24 seven in comparison to, you know, ETFs and stocks that only trade during normal market hours. So while while someone might be, you know, once the market opens, you might have a little bit of data to go off of based off of pre-market movement. Um, I have hours and hours of patterns to analyze because I can look at the correlating future and have a better understanding of the overall direction. Uh, that's one of the main reasons that I find trading ETFs and ETNs so attractive. One of the other things that I wanna talk about is I like how there's inverse ETFs of one another. So there's always one that's going up or going down. It doesn't always mean that, you know, they're good to trade as if there's no clear direction, then you probably shouldn't trade it. But, but altogether, I just find that simple concept to be so attractive that there's usually gonna be one trending up or trending down. I just have to make sure that I do my part as a day trader to have a clear understanding of the direction. So if I see natural gas making higher highs and continuing to break every resistance and you know showing signs of that uptrend, then I can then pay attention to UGAS, which is the correlating you know bull ETF uh, or ETN for natural gas and kind of go with the flow. It's very easy for me to identify patterns. Do I trade them perfectly? No, of course I make mistakes like everyone else. Uh, but that is again, one of the great qualities that I personally find very attractive about trading ETFs is uh, there's always one that's going up or down. Um, and one of the last things is it's kind of the same thing as the second one is um, I never really have to search for stocks to trade anymore. And uh, I get this question a lot because uh, I found myself when I first got started, uh, always having to scan for like pre-market movers. And I think that's great for all those that are focused on like momentum stocks or just have a focus on always scanning for stocks. I'm here to empower you to pursue whatever it is that you want to. Uh, but I just find it so much more relaxing that I have my series of, you know, commodities that I focus on such as gold, natural gas, the overall market with forward slash NQ, which is the NASDAQ future, S&P 500 future, uh, and crude oil future, right? And then I have my little niche that I have my little list of ETFs, I have my little list of you know, futures, 
and that's all I pay attention to. There's usually enough activity within those ETFs and, and features themselves that I don't have to go and search for you know anything else. And I'm someone that's huge on simplicity, right? The market is super, super overwhelming with so many different options. And it's just one of the things that I find very attractive about, you know, when I built my list of ETFs and when I built my list of commodities and features that I wanted to focus on, they're just personally the ones that I see value. And do I think that they're the best? Uh, no. Do I think that they're for everyone? Of course not, right? It's just uh, we have a lot of people that are solely focused on just gold, right? We have a lot of people that won't touch gold and only trade crude oil. Uh, we have a lot of people that focus on trading natural gas and that's all they pay attention to. Uh, I think the beautiful part about trading in the stock market is not about trying to copy everyone else, uh, but it's trying to keep it as simple as possible because I think that we can all agree that there's already so much going on in this market that if we can keep our focus where we see the most value and the most consistent patterns, the more experience you build uh, trading that specific niche, uh, the less overwhelming it can be. The market's always changing, especially with current market conditions. Uh, the volatility is more present. Uh, so then we have to, again, refine our approach but the overall concept of you know not having to worry to have to stand for other stocks um, is no longer there, right? Because we have our list, we have our focus, and it's cool to see other people excel in you know other areas where they're trading options, where they're trading penny stocks, where they're OTC, you know, momentum stocks. At the end of the day, I, I love seeing people thrive in their own niche. Uh, but for me, right, if I have a working system and I can keep it that simple, and I can consistently have more green days than red days, then why overcomplicate it? That's just my approach. And uh, one of the things that I wanted to leave you guys with is uh, now that I shared the three main things that I find so attractive about trading ETFs, I also wanted to highlight one of the things that might not be so attractive about trading ETFs is that a lot of these ETFs are leveraged, a lot of these ETFs decay. Uh, and to keep it super simple, uh, when natural gas, the actual future itself, moves 1%, I usually trade triple leverage ETFs and I day trade, I don't swing trade any of these, meaning that I don't hold these overnight and that has to do with more at the rate that they decay. And we can talk about that a little bit later. You can Google search it, what that means. Um, but pretty much it sells off over time, right? And it continues to decay and lose its price. Uh, my main focus is day trading. I challenge myself every single day to hit a certain goal. Some days, most days I hit it, some days I don't, but it's all about that risk management. Uh, but the reason that I find the triple leveraged ETFs to be very attractive is when natural gas, the actual feature itself, moves 1%, then the correlating ETFs, because they're triple leveraged, move 3%. So because, again, I do like the volatility, I do like those larger movements, um, it's really nice to be able to see that, you know, I don't just have to wait for 1% movements and trade the actual feature itself. I can trade the leverage space ETFs because I'm a day trader and I'm okay with being in and out. Yes, it's a little bit more risky, but I accept that risk. And again, it kind of comes with the territory where it's higher risk, higher reward. Um, and again, there's a bunch of different areas in the market that kind of offer that variety. So I find the triple leverage ETFs to be a really good mix for me. Uh, yes, I do find it to be risky from time to time when the volatility is present, and that's usually when I'll step away. But if I see there to be a clear direction, if I see there to be an attractive margin of profit for potential recovery, or something is actively trending up, then I try to keep it as simple as possible and kind of just try to go with the flow and stuff like that. So it works really well for me. I've been doing it for a couple of years and I've been pretty consistent with it as I recap my trades every single day. But I at least wanted to talk to you uh, about one last thing and uh, the whole purpose of this video is not to try to convince you uh, to trade ETFs at all. The whole focus on this video is really to empower you to find your own niche. I find it so relaxing to not have to worry about having to scan for a bunch of different stocks because I found my niche and I keep it as simple as possible. I have people that ask me all the time, Ricky, why don't I trade options? Ricky, why don't I short sell? Uh, Ricky, why don't you trade Forex, crypto? All these different, like why don't I trade penny stocks? Why don't I trade OTC stocks? Um, what I'm here to remind you to do is like, you know, if you're a complete beginner, right? Uh, I'm not here to empower you to only pursue ETFs. I think that would be very closed minded of me if I were to be like, hey, ETFs are the only way to go because that's what I'm successful in. We all have to understand that we're all wired in different ways and there's multiple different approaches to still end up getting the same result. So if you're new to the market and you're still struggling to identify your niche within the market, I would say being niched down is a very 
attractive quality that makes trading just that much more simple. So if you see value in that, uh, one of the tips that I want to give you that I think that can also assist you in kind of identifying and exploring different options is there's a thing called simulation paper trading, right? Which is pretty much that you trade with fake money. As you're learning to trade, I think your sole focus should be then learning to trade, not to make a profit. So as you're learning to trade, I would explore all these different options. You're gonna see so many videos of people talking about you know, why options are so amazing. In my opinion, options are a little bit more of a higher risk, higher reward, but I can totally see why people can find them attractive because you need much less capital to see overall you know, bigger results. But at the end of the day, that comes at a greater risk. And it just comes down to, you know, do you work well within that niche? And how can you figure that out? Well, you test it, right? When it comes down to OTC stocks, right? Try to find a working system and see if it works well for you. When it comes down to momentum stocks, try to find a working system and see if it works well for you. There's so many niches within the market I can go on and on. Uh, even when it comes down to just solely investing or swing trading, in the stock market you know don't be afraid to test new things i've i feel like i've tried to be as open-minded as possible that regardless if you're just a subscriber regardless if you're just the viewer uh if you're part of our free facebook group if you're part of one time profit i'm here to talk about what works well for me but i never want to limit you there i understand again that we're all wide in different ways and i think it's super important that again that you don't limit yourself or that i don't limit you to only try to empower you to pursue one niche in the market because I have found success in that. I'm here to remind you that, again, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take and I don't think it's right or just for anyone to be the final decision maker on what they find to be the right thing for you to focus on when it comes down to your day trading or overall investing career. Uh, so what I'm here to empower you is Again, don't be afraid to find your niche. Don't be afraid to explore different options. People are always gonna be super opinionated on what's the best, what's more risky, what is something that you completely need to avoid. And I think I would personally listen to those opinions with an open mind that yes, it's good to always approach any niche within the market uh, with caution, but to never close any doors just because someone had a bad experience because at the end of the day, people are always gonna have both positive and negative things to say about any any niche or any market out there. So I think one of the best ways that you can begin to explore and practice to find your niche uh, is simply just simulation trading and paper trading. And you're more than welcome to YouTube search it or Google search it as I have the number one video on YouTube when it comes down to talking about paper trading and how you can actually get started for free as again, you're learning to trade. So I really do appreciate your guys' time. I wanted to simply share um, a little bit more about my story on why I see value in ETFs, the three reasons or the three things that I find so attractive about them, and also list you know, maybe what's not so attractive about ETFs, uh, but to simply empower you to not be afraid to find your niche within the market. And that again, you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take, so why limit yourself? So if you guys have any questions whatsoever about getting started, or if you think that I can be of assistance for you, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm going to put my number down below. Feel free to send me a text if you guys have any questions or feel free to join our free Facebook group. We have a little bit over 225,000 members. We'd love to have you as a part of our trading team. And again, that's going to be that first link below. I really do appreciate your guys' time. I wish you guys an amazing rest of the year. Like always, continue working hard, continue following dreams, let your passion be a drive and success. I really hope that I earned your thumbs up with this video. And like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy, team.